and welcome. So today I am renovating the Spencer Kim Lewis family's home in The Sims 4. Recently I've decided to make a save file in The Sims 4 and this family is my second victim. My first ever Sim that I created for my save file, her name is Violet and she has a little puppy named Nova and they're really cute so you should definitely go check that out if you are interested. I also gave this family a little makeover in cast if you want to go see that. I'll link it down below. With my save file I am using all the packs in the game but I am not using any CC which is weird because I am kind of used to building with CC but I do want to not only make my own sims and houses and put them in the game but I want to give the current sims and houses that are in the game a little touch up and a little refresh mostly because a lot of the houses are pretty old i mean the game came out in 2014 and it feels a little outdated to be completely honest with you so yeah if you want to join me on this journey of remaking the entirety of the sims 4 subscribe and i'll always be here for you so this build did take me six and a half hours I cut out a lot of footage just because it was kind of boring, so I cut out all the bathrooms, I cut out the guest bedroom, and I also kind of cut out some of the kitchen because it took me- I was struggling with the kitchen. I'm going to be completely honest with you, I could not get the way that I kind of wanted it to look right. So yeah, I cut half of that out just so you didn't have to be there painting with me through that, but because it did take me so long. I didn't really know what to fill this video with because it is going to be like around 30 minutes. So I decided maybe we can go a little bit deeper into the Spencer Kim Lewis family just to kind of maybe learn a little bit more of who they are and more that I wasn't able to really touch on in their cast video because cast videos tend to be pretty short. So this family is a base game family in The Sims 4. They live on the Cypress Terrace lot in the Sage Estates neighborhood. The neighborhood is kind of weird because it only has two lots on it. And the description is very written very weird and it literally drives me absolutely crazy. I'm going to read that for you now. So the description of Sage Estates neighborhood reads, Willow Creek's most desirable area, Sage Estates features large sprawling estates, lush landscaping, and the best high society as to offer. Which I feel like that's worded very weirdly. I think it just sounds so weird because I think it's meant to say the best that high society has to offer and it's just kind of a little mistake that they haven't gone back and fixed. There are only two lots in this neighborhood so I guess it's kind of trying to go along the vibe of like they're so high class and high society that it's really hard to get into this neighborhood so that's why it's so just big houses but small, small neighborhood. But the only thing that I'm so confused about is why are the goths not in this neighborhood? They are literally like the most iconic family in the entirety of the sims 4. if you know sims you most likely know the goths so i'm like what what happened there the weird thing about this family is nobody in the entire family has a job so and there's no really explanation as to why given by the game so basically they just all live in this big mansion but nobody seems to have a job so I honestly kind of made a headcanon that Vivi is the one, Vivian, sorry, I call her Vivi, I love her, is the one who kind of got all the money. I think she was like a food critic and that is kind of what brought in all the money and everybody else just kind of ended up moving into her house. And the description of this family is, okay, here's the breakdown. Dennis Kim and Lydia Spencer had a daughter named Alice Spencer Kim, then divorced. Alice married Eric Lewis and had her own little girl, Olivia Kim Lewis. They live with Alice's dad, Dennis, remember? And Eric's mom, Vivian Lewis. Hey, no one ever said family is easy. So, we have Dennis Kim, who had a baby with Lydia Spencer to create Alice Spencer Kim. Then, we had Vivian Lewis, who, with an unknown person, had Eric Lewis, who then married... Alice Spencer Kim and had little Olivia. It's a little, it's not that complicated, honestly, but I feel like the way that they worded it and their choice in 
the last name made it incredibly confusing, to be completely honest with you. So as far as Eric goes, he is a young adult, 23 days away from becoming an adult, which unlike most of the Sims in The Sims 4, these Sims aren't at the beginning part of their life stage. So they are like halfway through or towards the end of their life stages, which is really weird because most of the Sims in The Sims 4 aren't that way. So Eric he has one skill point in both logic and video gaming and three points in programming. So he seems like he's kind of technologically inclined and his aspiration is to be a mansion baron, which he kind of completed considering he lives in a mansion. So to me, that could add a lot of explanation as to why they may have so much money. He could possibly be doing like programming things or what have you to kind of make said money. He is also part of the malpractice household that was uploaded to the gallery, but it was honestly just kind of a lot of the male sims in the game dress kind of scandalous for the promotion of get to work, I believe. As far as his traits go, he is materialistic, glutton, self-assured, and he does have the business savvy reward trait thingy from his aspiration. He is married, obviously, to Alice Spencer Kim, and he has a daughter, Olivia Kim Lewis. But the only other thing that I can add about Eric is that because he is in that little malpractice gallery upload, that could indicate that he was kind of meant to be a part of the doctor career. And then Eric's mother, Vivian, is an elder, and she starts off unemployed as well. Everybody in the family does. Uh, she has one skill point in comedy, video gaming, and four points in cooking, and she has the big happy family aspiration. And then her traits are foodie, family-oriented, cheerful, and then she has the domestic reward trait for having the big happy family aspiration. And I find it particularly interesting that she is only acquaintances with Alice and Dennis, but she is friends with her granddaughter, Olivia, and her son, Eric. So maybe that can kind of allude to the fact that they aren't really on the best of terms, to be honest. And then as far as Vivian goes, there is no indication as to if she's divorced or if she was never married or if she's widowed because Eric's dad obviously is never named, nor is he in the picture of the family. Alice Spencer Kim is a young adult, and she is 23 days from becoming an adult. She is obviously unemployed, and she has one skill point in charisma, comedy, cooking, mischief, video gaming, and four points into painting. So she does have the most skills out of anyone else in the entire family, and her aspiration is the painter extraordinaire. Alice's traits are loves the outdoors, creative, childish, and then she has the muser reward trait from the painter extraordinaire aspiration. And then as far as she goes with her relationships, she is friends with her father, she is sweethearts with Eric, her daughter is her friend, and she is obviously acquaintances with Vivian. And then Dennis Kim is an elder, and he is obviously unemployed. He has one skill point in both comedy and video gaming, and four points in gardening. I find it really interesting that pretty much everyone in this family has the video gaming skill point. So to me, honestly, I kind of see that as them like maybe having little game nights where they kind of play games with each other and have like a little family gathering, which I think is really, really cute because I love happy families, to be honest, and I find that adorable. Although, considering Vivian doesn't seem to like Alice too much, I feel like there could be a few arguments that spur from these games they play naturally. As far as his traits go, he loves the outdoors, he's neat, He's a perfectionist, and he has the domestic reward trait from Successful Lineage. As far as his relationships go, he is friends with his daughter, Alice. He has acquaintances with Eric and his mother, Vivian, and then he is friends with Olivia. And then, as a side note, he 
is divorced from Lydia Spencer, who is never shown in the game. She is just, there is really nothing else on her because she is just briefly, briefly mentioned in their little biography. And then Olivia is a child and she is 12 days away from becoming a teen. She is a grade C student and she has one skill point in creativity, mental, motor, and social skills. She seems to take after her mom a little bit with her aspiration. She has the artistic prodigy aspiration and her trait is goofball. And then little Olivia is friends with every member of her family. As a whole, this family has 55,500 simoleons, so they're honestly pretty well off for themselves just right out the gate in the beginning of the game. And for me, I don't think that it's for any like weird reason. I think it could possibly practically be on laziness as part of the Sims team when they originally created this household or maybe Alice is selling her paintings. Maybe they have retirement funds from the two elders, you know, maybe Eric is doing some programming or something to help get them some money. So it doesn't really have to be for any weird reasons, at least within the game. And it is honestly most likely that the reason that they are not at the beginning of their lifespan in The Sims 4 is just because they were just tested by The Sims team originally when they were making the game. But yeah, that was my very long and most likely boring spiel on the Spencer Kim Lewis family. I'm just honestly trying something new, so if you like it, let me know. And if you don't like it, that's honestly totally fine. Just dislike the video and I'll know not to make something like this again. And I hope you have a really, really good day. I love you. Goodbye.